de Liquenda. On the outskirts of the city of Barnaul in southern Siberia, 23-year-old Alexander Chernikov prepares for his most outlandish stunt so far. <laughs> Remarkably, he's unhurt, if a little winded. Police tell onlookers to stop filming, but footage of this jump quickly goes viral, clocking up more than 10 million views in a month. So, Alexander, this is it, yeah? This is the building that you climbed up. Nine stories, set yourself on fire on the top and jumped off. Well, try and explain to me how it felt. I felt a sense of victory, joy and pride in myself that I was able to do it and survive. You are aware in that moment that you are standing on the line between life and death and that if something goes wrong, you may die. Would you do all this if you weren't filming it? How important is social media? I think that if I couldn't make an extreme selfie or video, I probably wouldn't do it. I would find a different way to get on in life. I do this to show other people. It's visual after all, and it helps me to stand out and show off my achievements. Aren't you afraid of dying? <laughs> No, I don't fear death. What's there to be scared of? It's inescapable. It comes to us all. In fact, dozens of young Russians have died and hundreds more have been injured while trying to impress their internet audience. Pavel Kashin fell 16 floors after trying to perform a backflip on a rooftop ledge. The Russian government is so worried about this trend, it launched a safe selfie campaign, warning people to avoid posing on moving trains and high roofs with wild animals or with weapons. A Moscow office worker shot herself in the head with a flare gun as she attempted to take a selfie. It's about synchronization. When people press a button with one hand, they often squeeze the trigger with the other. This extreme selfie culture continues to grow in Russia, and it can have its rewards as well as its risks. Angela Nikolaou and her boyfriend Ivan climbed what's said to be the tallest crane in the world in Tianjin, China, some 640 meters off the ground. The daughter of a circus trapeze artist, Angela has sponsors including fashion brands, camera companies and travel firms which pick up the tab for her foreign adventures. The Moscow art student has around half a million followers on Instagram and is now something of a celebrity invited onto Russia's coolest chat show. Angela sees herself as an artist rather than an adrenaline junkie and explains why filming her exploits is essential. Imagine an artist painting all alone in his studio. He paints and paints and paints. He does this for five years, just for himself, until he's drowning in his pictures. He thinks, if no one sees my work, what am I doing it for? I think we are all created to produce things we can show the world. Russia doesn't have a monopoly on risk. But young Russians are building a global reputation for being the most daring or stupid, depending on your point of view. So why is that? Maybe because nobody's really told them to stop, says Kirov Veselensky, one of Moscow's most infamous high-rise adventurers. It's illegal here, but not that risky. Because in America, Canada or Europe, the guys who do this stuff have to cover their faces and only climb at night because they can have serious problems with trespassing laws and that kind of thing. But here we didn't have many legal problems. That's why it really took off in Russia. 
It's a paradoxical situation, isn't it? Because we think of Russia now under Putin being quite an authoritarian place. If you don't get involved in politics and don't bother people here, you can pretty much do what you like. Kirill knows this to his cost. A Ukrainian friend of his climbed one of Moscow's landmark buildings and poured blue paint on the yellow star on top, the colours of his country's flag. He fled back to Kiev, and so the police raided Kirill's flat instead, and the young Muscovite wound up in prison for 17 months. Like Angela, Kirill is a star on social media, and his photos have been featured in magazines around the world. Back in Siberia, Alexander Chernikov continues to risk his life, hoping for fame and fortune. Adrenaline. <laughs> Alexander works as a labourer from time to time, but is currently jobless. His dream is to be a stuntman, a film star even, and to escape what he sees as a dead-end life. Some of my 